All right, as promised, uh, back at my client's job, uh, we are fixing the uh, this wall, or I took the uh, the siding off. Uh, we're cutting back, like I said, two feet right here, and replacing all that OSB, and this whole sheet is getting replaced. So you can see the light coming in from underneath where it just rotted out with all the rain and the water. So we're gonna be cutting back, replacing the OSB, and uh, waterproofing everything, as well as replacing the studs on the inside uh, with all new ones. So stay with us. All right, right here, we hold water here, and right there, that other orange mark. The plan is to cut two valleys here and there to give a spot for the water uh, to run off. And uh, doing that will also keep the integrity of the concrete pad that the, uh, the building setting on. All right, here's where we're at. We uh, got everything cut out that needs to be cut out all the way around. Here's what we were looking at to, uh, to see how rotten this uh, bottom plate is. It's pressure treated. And uh, if you can tell, it's pretty, you can scrape, scrape it pretty bad. And then right here, that's the core. That goes all the way back in there. And uh, it's like that all the way down too. Look, there's another spot. Real bad rotten out. That's That was a nail that was supposed to be holding stuff together and you just pull those right out. We got these corner pieces that are terribly rotten. So, that's what we were worried about, but uh, we'll get this replaced. We'll replace the studs and uh, get him taken care of. All right, so because we have to cut out this bottom plate right here, we have to carry the support of the ceiling joists. So we're putting in these temporary posts to carry the weight while we take the weight off this main wall right here. This is the underside of the bottom plate. And you can see where it's just rotten out. Pull out the nails. This nail's all the way rotten through. Just pure rot all the way down. And that's why we had to replace it. One's over. Here's what we got done. We got the bottom plate replaced. We got the OS, old OSB cut out, the rotten stuff all the way around, and we got a temp wall holding everything up. Tomorrow we will seal everything, put the new OSB on, waterproof everything, put new Tyvex wrap on, and put the old siding back on, and that'll be a wrap. Okay, day two, and uh, Hopefully, final day, we are going to be cutting the rest of this out, tying everything back together. Today, I remembered to bring my ram set 
and we'll be using that to set the bottom plates into the concrete and uh, I'll show you that later in the video. Stay tuned, let's get started. All right, now that we've got the bottom plates in place, we're gonna go around with the ram set with this guy and shoot them in. And that'll keep them from moving uh, out of place. All right, now that we got the bottom plate nailed in, we'll start putting in the studs and sistering them to the old ones and then move on to the OSB. So we got all the studs replaced and now we're moving on to putting the OSB on and then on to wrapping and siding and we'll be done. Got all the new OSB on, caught both before we put the OSB on, on the bottom plate, and then again after we put the OSB on, use this Lexel Tough Electric Sealant. That stuff, I use it for roofings, and it really is the best stuff. Now we're going to put this aquatic membrane on, probably gonna go about 18 to 20 inches up, all the way around. It's a little bit overkill, but we are in Louisiana. It rains a lot, it floods a lot. A little extra protectant just to make sure that we don't get any water inside this and uh, make the homeowner happy. All right, we got the acrylic coating on waterproofing we went up about 24 inches all the way around and we lexelled the bottom side to keep it nice and waterproof now we're about to put on the tyvex wrap siding and we'll call it a day after that
that's got the Tyvex wrap on all the way around. And now we are on to siding. My favorite. Love siding. Not really. It sucks. watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i'll be doing more in the future i think my next project is going to be a full house remodel if you did enjoy this video please like share and subscribe like i said i do plan on making more videos like this thank you again for watching let me know what you thought of the video in the comment section below